Zumba season is now closed. I would like, I would like all of our former Green to Zumbas to please come down on stage. All of them. The Green Kazumba has been a tradition which started in 1984, and it's become a great honor to become one. And well, I won't, getting caught is something you don't want to have happen. But we got caught once. And that camper, as promised, became the most famous camper in Eagle Feather history. What's his name? Richard And now I'd like you to meet him. Richard, come on down. Look how old he is. And now I'd like you to meet the first Green Gazumba, Donnie Perillo. His son, Devin, has been a camper now for several years. Gentlemen, take off your masks. Oh, yes. I am going to tell you guys about some runs that I had as a Green Kazumba. First of all, starting off, I would like to say uh, the people that I'm most scared of, Kai Hodes and Mike Lufundo. Yeah. <laughs> Scariest campers I've ever met. Oh, all right, well, I'm gonna start off, it, this is a fourth session run, so we're gonna move all the way to fourth session. And uh, this was, I think, the first week of this session, and uh, we go do a run, and Blake just left because it's uh, his wedding and everything like that. So Becca to the cab and chased me up the hill, and I got away in the truck. Well, it wasn't over at that point. So I got back in the truck, drove up to the top, and waited there. I was standing there, and Becca said, whenever you want to run out, just run around around the sign out and run back into the woods. So I was waiting for Joseph to go get it, uh, finish his drink. But he never ended up finishing it, so I just ran out anyways. I started running around, and I suddenly had this weird feeling, like this tingly feeling like spider sense. So all of a sudden, I turn around, Kyle Hodes. Out of nowhere, Kyle Hodes starts chasing me around the craft house and I jump away. I'm sitting in the woods and Becca goes, Steve, it's okay to come out, it's safe. Well, it wasn't safe at that point. I run out, run into the tool shed, and I don't know if it was Becca or who it was, but someone forgot to close the back door of the tool shed. So, I go out run where I'm going to take off my costume, and there Kyle Hodes is standing. I take the door and slam it in his face. Run out the other side screaming, Kyle Hodes, Kyle Hodes. <laughs> so I ended up running out, and I ended up meeting in the woods, and Derek, the uh, maintenance, and Becca were talking to me, and I said, you know what, just meet me down at the boys' trail. I'll be safe. I'll be able to run on the roads and get out of here. Well, it still wasn't safe at that point. I uh, ran through back near these new houses that were just getting built. Well, apparently, when you run in front of a bunch of 40-year-old men and you're in costume, they kind of get scared and chase you. <laughs> so I started running down the street, and these 40-year-old construction workers started chasing me. I didn't know what to do to stop and talk to them or what. So I was looking over my right shoulder, and all of a sudden, I had this... I, I see to my left, the car is pulling up. I'm like, okay, it's the construction workers. Well, the first thing I hear from the windows going down is, hi, Green Gazumba. Apparently, some third session campers were driving around randomly and spotted me and started following me. I started running through the woods, trying to get away from them, and they just kept driving alongside me. I ended up getting away as fast as I can, running to Becca, screaming, oh my God, it's my worst nightmare. So, I got away and Becca, save the day at the end.
Alright, as you all heard is my reasons for why I probably wasn't a Kazuma. I'm pretty slow, and I'm pretty weak, and I was really scared. And so I got called Cowardly Kazuma. For my first few runs, they were... I had a few super runs too great, but then there were a couple where I just kind of tucked my tail between my legs and ran. Um, I've heard some of them referred to as, I think I imagined a second Kazuma. And there was this other one where, hey, that run was over in five seconds. But I got better. I got so much better. And I got better to the point where I almost got caught a couple times. I got great. So I'm just going to tell you about um, my best one. Well, best or worst, depending on how you want to look at it. It was, there was a very close call with Mark Bodenero, where Steve almost took him out, but some CITs got him. And there was another really close call with Jack Riley, actually, who's in the audience. He almost got me when the car didn't stop. But um, the closest call for me was when we were supposed to do a run for the girls. The girls, do a, the girls, they wait to go down to assembly. First, they wait up on the awning. So Blake tells Becca, make sure the girls don't go down. Well, by the time I'm suited up, we look out the window, and the girls are headed down the hill. Who knows what happens? But anyway, so I was all suited up, and Blake said, well, that's it. And I said, no, please, let me do something. I'm all ready to go. Let me go. He's like, OK, Janine, you're going to run up the orchard hill. And I said, OK, if I've got blockers, I can do it. So Blake comes with me, and Becca's is still in on it. So he drives up about 30 paces behind where the girls are waiting now down by the golf shed. And you open the door, and I jump out, and I get a good roar, and I just turn and start running. Because at this point, I know I've got to try to outrun these kids up the hill, which is not my strong suit. So I'm running, and I look back once. And visibility in these maps is not so great. So I look back once, and I see Jane in the lead with Becca and Blake kind of right beside her, and a swarm of girls behind. I'm like, OK, doing good. Keep running, keep running. I look back again, and I see Jane is now about maybe three feet in front of Blake and Becca, and all the other campers are kind of further behind, and I'm like, okay, makes me a little nervous to see nothing between me and the camper, but I'm still running, and I'm still running, and I turn around again, and I see Jane 12 feet in front of Blake and Becca, <laughs> gaining on me really, really quickly. And I'm still running, but I'm not going to make it. I know I'm not going to make it at this point. But I knew this, was, this would happen someday. I knew this would happen. And I decided I couldn't just keep running with my tail, you know, waving in front of her as I run. So I turned and made a stand. I looked back one more time. Jane was the distance between Steve and me. About that far. Blake and Becca were just as far behind her. And I figured I didn't want to chance it that she was going to get me before they got her. So I just took my stand, I turned on her, and grabbed her hand so she couldn't grab me. <laughs> and I just, I held her in a death grip for a minute. And she just, she stood staring at me like shocked. <laughs> and I stood staring at her like, no. <laughs> and I just shoved her and threw her into Blake's and Becca's arms. And then I went to go up the hill. But I was so frazzled, I slipped and I fell. <laughs> and I made to scramble and recover myself. And I kept going. And I heard she almost caught me again. And, and Becca's behind me going, Go, Janine! Go, Janine! Go! Go, Janine! Oh, Becca. <laughs> but I made it. And I didn't get caught. And I came about as close as any Kazoo book can come. <laughs>
my head. I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching if I only had a brain. I'd unravel every riddle for any individual in trouble or in pain. With the thoughts I'd be thinking I could be another Lincoln if I only had a brain. Michael ate his butterfinger, honey. I'm thinking what I'm thinking. I mean, what I think I am. Kelsey and I are going to the Emerald City. See if the wizard can help us with can our wishes. I'd like a brain. I want to come back to my camp. I love to cuddle. Well, this is so exciting. Oh, Kelsey, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Just tell me what you want. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 Oh, I
cowardly lion. I'm even scared of myself. <laughs> Let me get your brother, okay? Please? Have you heard about our fabulous Please? barber shop? Remember to visit our gift shop. Well, he's hidden. It's chef salad. What is it? It's mine. If you wait a minute, I'll get some.